So what is the subject today? Radhe Radhe Gurudev, today we will go on Abhisar together. We are going to read verse 70 of Vilapakus Manjali. Yeah, Tarun Baba has to also come in that center. Can you bring him? You know what to do. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, say. Oh, Supage. Gopinath is not there. He went to lunch because he went for Radha Kun. He is coming just now. Then he. Okay. But we can have many, make the money that we can together. Not two persons. Yeah. Yes, Gurudev. Yeah. Oh, Subhage, beautiful or auspicious girl. Can I joyfully decorate you with fine garments, floral earrings, necklaces? After hearing from the parrot, Vichakshan, that the prince of Braja has gone out for his excellent noontime meeting with you. Who is that in? To Manjari. You see, this is the point. Our bhav has to be a sight. So now, when to see Manjari, Raghunath Das is not telling to see Manjari, is telling. Huh? Say. So he's or she is saying, Oh, Subhagi, beautiful or auspicious girl, can I joyfully decorate you with fine garments, floral earrings, necklaces? And so, after hearing from the parrot Vichakshana that the prince of Vraja has gone out for his excellent noontime meeting with you. Wow. And why is she is telling that I want to decorate? Real service is this. When you decorate, do service and again you get the chance to do service. So Krishna, what he do? He, she decorate to Radha Rani and Krishna come and this decoration, he destroy that. He make this, what you say in English? This, what you? Here, change the, the necklace broke. Close, huh? Yeah, the Ah, disheveling. Yes, disheveling means all is uh, is what the decoration was there is not in right place. He's making a mess. Man, <clears throat> so then she is happy that her service is accepted. My dear. Then again, she has the chance to do the service. What the Baba is giving mercy to us by giving this test in life. Yes, this is mercy, Gurudev. Mercy. Notes. This time the vision of Swamini appears. Oh, Subhagi, when can I arrange for your Abhisar, your journey of love, after hearing from the mouth of the parrot named Vishakshan? that Shyama Sundara has already left for his Abhisar. Oh. 
Tulase calls Shamini Ju Subage here because she experiences her fortune. So means positive and bhagya is a fortune. So bhagya. Good fortune, always good fortune. She and she gives good fortune to us. Only by the near to her, good fortune come in our life. By only your mind, we become fortunate. He who is coveted or desired by innumerable Praja Sundaris is himself yearning for Sri Radhika. Yeah. The Dasi is proud of Radharani's pride. Yeah. There is no limit to Shyam's craving for Radharani. Um, Shyam, understand, come near to understand. Some German translation going on to German Mataji's are there, who is doing German translation. Read, listen to that. Take the... Okay. Okay. So the Dasi is proud of Radharani's pride. There's no limit to Shyam's craving for Radharani. Day and night he is murmuring. Rishabhanu Nandini, without saying anything else. Although hundreds of thousands of girls speak sweet words to him, he does not listen to them even in dreams. There's hundreds and thousands girls they are Sakis and Gopis. Krishna not less than They want to catch him, they want to do everything to hold him, but no less one pointed want to run for Radhika. And that makes proud to Manjari's. When he sees Krishna, is so bad for my job. That is the beauty. She, our last lesson, that is the ecstasy, that is the highest anand in them, and to the Dasis. That's how he is mad for my son. This is the special gift taken by Guru and our Acharyas by the realized words is all Vilapusu Manjali's. He is not believed, this is a Vani. Vani means golden words. But gold, to be a gold, to digest that, we have to practice that. It's a gift for the a devotee who wants to go in the lead line of 
महाप्रभु चैतन्य महाप्रभु भक्ति चीन और चैतन्य महाप्रभु Why he appears and what he want to give us? He can only pronounce the first syllable of your name. Ra, but out of ecstasy he cannot pronounce the other one, Da. Who? Who is this supreme personality of Godhead? Narvada Sila. When he comes to receive that love, so he is a Supreme. He cannot pronounce all the Vedas and Puranas and all the scriptures because of him. And he has no capacity to pronounce. That is the greatness of Krishna. So he is the supreme. In love, he cannot pronounce his full word. He will. This is this beauty. Why is supreme because of this? Because you want to rally. You want to be a person, a dasi. How the how how to relish that? Krishna want to relish Radha's love. That is the reason of Chaitanya. Only Rash can open this. No other. His eyes carry streams of tears. That jewel of men rolls on the ground. Who can describe his distress? Mohan is eager to the maximum to meet Radharani. So he sends the parrot, Vikshakshan, out with a message for her. Although Brajendra Nandana is the very form of full bliss. And he is the supreme shelter of all sounds, touch, forms, flavors, and scents. And he is the ocean of all rasa. Even he is maddened by Radha's Sweetness. Yeah. And this beauty of Radha and Krishna, who is that? And the mercy to see on the, the Manjari's Dasis of Radha. This fortune. She has to realize and feel it. Yeah. 
The Upanishads state that he is Rasa. And the living being cannot be happy without him. Were he not ecstasy personified, they would not desire to live. He is the limit of ecstasy. And he makes all living beings in the world happy with even a drop of his transcendental bliss. Yet, even he is mad after meeting Srimati Radharani. In the Pura Rag, falling in love stage, it is seen that one Saki describes to Srimati how Mohan is suffering in separation from her. Oh, fortunate girl. Oh, Ramani Mani, jewel of all women. Your birth is blessed. Let everyone declare it. It will satiate Kanu. It will make him happy. He is mad after you. Normally, the Chataka bird craves the rainwater from the cloud. But now, the Krishna cloud thirsts for the Radha Chataka. Uh -huh. yeah. Normally, the Chakora bird survives only on the moonlight. But now, the Krishna moon thrives on the Radha Chakora. Normally, the wine needs a tree for support. But now, this Krishna Tamal tree needs the support of the Radha vine. Uh -huh. His mind is absorbed in you. He is pained, remembering you, combing your hair with a garment covering half of your chest and tells me, Oh, fortunate girl, <coughs> what can I do? Kanu remembers everything and it makes him very upset. How you once smiled at him and showed him your teeth. And he declares, when will she take me in her arms? Then he looked again and saw you holding the hand of your friend, of your Saki. Your unseen glance entered his heart. Psst. 
So please go and tell this to your Sundari. Ask her to do the needful. Vidyapati says, You are the doll of his heart, but his body is empty. Shyam Mohan does not love anyone as much as her. The different gopis only serve to create a variety of his loving pastimes with Shimati. But he is totally subdued by Shiradha alone. This is a very relishable situation for her maidservants. Shiradika is fortunate because he for whom all the gopis are eager, is eager to meet her. Therefore, her name is Subagi, a fortunate girl here. And Tulasi is also proud of Swamini's pride. There is no limit to Shyam's desire for Swamini. That's why he personally sent his pet parrot, Vishakshan, out with a message. Vishakshan delivers the message to Tulasi, who becomes most ecstatic. So here we see also that the messenger parrot, Vishakshan, is going, is flying first to Tulasi. That is also very interesting, Gurudev. Because the maidservants of Srimati Radhika are the ones who arrange also for the meetings and they prepare everything. And they are very proud when Krishna, when Mohan is so eager. This is the fulfillment of all their Seva Abhilas. Yes. When I hear this from the parrot's beak or mouth, all my limbs are studded with goose pimples of excitement. I speak the message with a faltering, a breaking voice, and my heart swings when I behold Rai's face. Tulasi Manjari thinks, I won't tell Swamini about Hari's message beforehand. Otherwise, she would run out of the door without having her clothes and ornaments in the right place.
So here again, we can see how the mandaris are the divine servants of Srimati. And they take care of her when she loses her mind to run to Mohan. And therefore, she is not telling her the message of the parrot. She's keeping it a little bit to herself even to increase Swamini's eagerness also. Yeah. Shri Shukadev described a similar scene of madness in his Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Kento when Krishna played his flute to inaugurate the Maharasa dance. Some gopis were putting on makeup. Other cleansed their bodies. Others applied eyeliner to their eyes. Others began to put on their garments. While yet again others went with all their decorations on the wrong places. According to the Goswamis, this is possible with Sri Radharani, who was endowed with the ecstatic love called Madana and Modana, and also with her personal girlfriends. So, Gurdiv, I found this very interesting that all of their madness starts when they listen to Krishna's flute play. But here we have a reverse situation. Here Krishna is mad. Probably he cannot even play his flute. Probably had, he has lost his life earth. His flute has fallen. He can only send out one parrot. He cannot even speak Radha's name anymore. He is completely lifeless. He needs her right now. And Tulasi Manjari is not losing her mind. She is preparing even Swamini who wants to run after him. Because yeah. when Krishna Mohan is becoming so crazy and so eager, then Shimati Radhika also cannot keep her eagerness, right? Yeah. 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 But Tulsi Manjari is keeping, is keeping her countenance. And she thinks, oh, first I have to dress Swamini nicely. Otherwise, she will just run. Yeah. She knows the time and circumstances to see. This is also comes in the same. The Mahajan singing about this say, when Krishna plays his flute, Rai forgets everything, what to do and what not to do. Rai combs her hair with the mirror and ties her flower garlands to her feet without thinking. On her hands, she wears her ankle bells. On her neck, she wears her waist bells. And on her waist, she wears her necklace. <laughs> Rade Rade, can I ask a question? <laughs> Why Rairika is called Rai? What's the meaning of this name, Gurudev? Can you explain, please? What? Why Radhika is called Rai? 
Prime is Manas Yer Sita. Sesame Seed. Sesame is Rai. Rai is is a master and is a very yellow. Color is yellow golden and without oil you cannot do anything in the life. So Rai is the sweet name in Bangla of Radhika. And more uh, Tarun Baba can explain you why the Rai. Unfortunately, yes, <laughs> I have no idea why it's called Rai Gurudev. I'm sorry. I don't know the meaning of Rai. I don't know. Rai, rai is a, in the Bangla, they say to Radhika, right? In Bangla, many places the sounds also Rai. But Rai is a mustard oil, small, smallest, but it's a big thing. So the Radha Rani devotee also want to be the smallest servant. They have to be Rai Dasi, which becomes small. Who like to be small, to serve Radhika, they are Rai Dasi. Mm -hmm. sweetness, kindness. Because so Rai love. means the sweetest of the smallest love. <laughs> sweetest and smallest to love on you. And Chalice. I have one that is uh, the maximum form of humility. Beautiful. On her ear, Rai places her nose pearl, and on her nose, she hangs the tassel of her braid. Vangsi Badandas is singing, All glories to she who dies out of passionate love for Mohan. This is Bangla song. Who is singing that? Vangsi Vadana Das. There is a <clears throat> one also mentioned there. Yes. Shravane Koroyerai Beshara Sajala Nasara Upore Kore Venirara Chana. Ah. Vangsi vadane kohe yaui boli hari Shyama anuragera palai loya mori This ecstatic hilarity of love for Mohan is called a vibram Alankara in the Rasa Shastras. Valaba wow. Prapti Vilayam Madana Vesha Sambramat Vibramo Hara Malyadi Busha Stana Vipar Yaya. This is a quote from Uchwala Nilamani. And the translation says, when the hero, heroine, the lady love, out of erotic ecstasy, puts on her necklaces, garlands, and other ornaments on the wrong place, when it is time to meet the lover, it is called Vibram. 
be Brahm. Brahm, Brahm is confused. Mind is not working. Is so much high ecstasy that mind don't work what to do. <laughs> so Brahm, Brahm is doubtful what to do, how to do. They forget. This is the ecstasy of love. Yeah. Well, uh, Shri Krishna only relishes the prema, though, and not the beauty of the dress or the ornaments. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You see that feeling, how they become, how much ecstasy is there. They become confused to wear the dresses, decorate themselves. They know to decorate, but to my love, they for, for confuse themselves. <laughs> what to do? Wow. Gives them more happy to see that. Yes. Hari so, yeah. cannot be captured only by the beauty of the form, Shilarupa Goswami says in Lalita Madhava. Yeah. But he takes great pleasure in correcting the gopis' mistakes in dressing and ornamenting with his own hands, thus showing himself to be completely subdued by love. Wow. But the Kinkaris, they want to send Radhika out nicely dressed and ornamented. Wow. Yeah. That's why Tulasi Manjari is thinking, the parrot said that Shyam is going out now to meet my Swamini. Uh -huh. First, I will dress and ornament her. And then I will tell her this. <laughs> <laughs> so we it. see how the kinkaris are controlling the situation. <laughs> Rati Manjari, Tosi Manjari is teaching us. Our Guru Manjari is teaching us. Krishna Bhakt, Hoy Baru Chatu. Why this is that? Means that intelligence here has to do. If you want to be enlightened in divine way, Krishna Bhakti is a divine, is not religion, is a divine love, pure love. The goal is love is the way and love is the goal. Living in loving exchange, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. Siddhi is I not go out from my Sarup. That is perfection of the my identification. That is perfection. Sani so, Siddha proves he never changed his Sarup, his form. See the example, even the Western world. Jesus, he was at the time of crucifixion. He was his sarup was son. He was in that form. You know, change. He is telling my father, if you like, I accept this. I have no pain for that. Your desire is my happiness. Sarup, two fish, 
then the real love is rising. Even you see, Manjaris never change themselves. Saru, my form has to be perfected. It, material I know, it's never perfect because when I die, change the body, is not in my hand. But my spiritual form is, is I born for this to fix it. I born not for fixing my material body form. I born to fix my spiritual body form. Jai Ho! Yes, for this. And if I cannot do it, <laughs> Then I waste my whole life for nothing. That is the love I have to afford to do it. If you are honest, we want something in spiritual development, we have to do it. Zarup, my form in which relation? That has to be perfected. Understand? This you are in first day with me, my dear. One consulate come from Italian consulate. I will show you. He's from Italy, and I am telling to him about Jesus. He is fixed his sarup or not? Sarup means his identification. What is his relation with his father? It was fixed, he is son and he is a father. Right or not? Maximum, right? Right. And he get it or not? At the last, last moment. And he is still he is alive, he known. People know him and love him. Because of this perfection. This is a perfection. Is spiritual perfection, religious perfection, many things we can do it. But this is a spiritual perfection. So Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, our Acharyas, our teachers say, develop your form, what relation you want to be. And if you decide, practice, we try to do that you can fix it in this life. That if you leave this body, you know where to go. That's simple thing. Right, Anna? Simple. It's natural. It's nothing more complicated or nothing information. It's all books are nothing. Only to keep distance from this. Sorry to say. We say, we are, we have a Vedic philosophy. How many Vedas book you read? Vedic philosophy is this, that we are Sanatan. We was, we now, and we will be, that is Sanatan, my soul, that is Vedic philosophy. Not Vedas are philosophy. They are all karam kanda. That soul has to fix in relationship. And without relation, that is no way to fix it. That is Vedic philosophy. And that is the spiritual. Simple. Any is any religion see Radhan Swami or any satsang hall, this is the thing. Form, not form, this, that is form they say because they don't want to love. They want to become God. So hum, I want to become God. Many also want to, in Europe, they want to become Jesus. 
अरे जो बिकम जीजस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आई टू लव जीजस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बी ए लवर ऑफ द ऑफ द गोल लव इज मोटेस्ट देन टू बिकम दैट you see if i start loving you is more tasteful than i become like maximo is no meaningful yeah, i can get the your job and i can work in the um, embassy maybe and i can little comforts what is that to love you everything i will get what you have what comfort you have If I have a love with you, I will get all comforts. I can stay in your room. What you will cook, I will eat. <laughs> Where you will sleep, I will say go down sleep. You, I, this is my bed. I will sleep on your bed. I will come together to sleep. <laughs> this is everything can be possible in love. You know, that is the our teachers say. is an important thing to fix your sorrow where a uh, form what form you want to love which form you like to love yeah go on. so the parrot said that sham is going out now to meet my swamini first i will dress and ornament her and then i will tell her this yeah it is auspicious even to think and talk about the expertise in devotional service of the manjaris wow there will be no desire to look anywhere else why would the heart not be purified by thinking of the forms qualities and pastimes of the divine pair yeah. can the maya shakti obstruct the lord swarup yeah. shakti that i no understand this i never understand in my life again i read this can you explain tarun baba please so why would the heart not be purified by thinking of the forms qualities and pastimes of the divine pair ah. can the maya shakti obstruct the lord swarup shakti no it cannot <laughs> so here baba is is asking or baba is playing a little game and he is saying why we pick don't become purified by the meditating on the forms of radha and krishna and then he is asking can maya shakti really obstruct the swarupa shakti and the answer is no it cannot because bhakti is a combination of sambit and ladini shakti and both are coming from swarupa shakti so when we engage in bhakti of course we can overcome this obstacle so maya shakti as long as we are in the shelter of bhakti which means in the shelter of swarupa shakti which means in the shelter of La- radhika's lotus feet we can certainly overcome all obstacles in the life this is what you always say gurudev and baba here is just playing devil's advocate and he is asking can this be that maya can obstruct put obstacles to swarupa shakti and the answer is of course no it cannot because swarupa shakti is always more powerful and radhika swamini is the personification of ladini shakti which is an essential part of bhakti so that's it beautiful maya shakti cannot enter there never never only when we go out <laughs> then when we go out from the sarup shakti then maya shakti will affect 
I give you example of Jesus. Judah was also in the Last Supper. He was so fixed in his Sarup Sakti that his son of his father, why he to bother? And he knows everything about Judah, but he don't bother. So you, why you imagine to bother? So uh, Maya Shakti cannot disturb the in-between relation of Jesus, his father. He cannot. He can, he can take this plastic body. But relation is, is it, it is strong. So similarly, this is not our Maya Shakti, no valuable. It is not effective. Now both my senses, my plastic covering is a plastic. It's a plastic, what is a plastic surgery? It's not effective. My Shakti. These are Over my there. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, no, please continue. <laughs> My over. Um, in the beginning of the text, Sunidhi was reading, I catched, I caught one very, very beautiful line Baba is inserting. And he was saying that actually Krishna is the personification of ecstasy. And uh, we would not be able to live without him being the personification of ecstasy. So this is a very, actually, it, it goes by this sentence, but it's a very, very deep, deep, deep sentence because it means that actually the jiva, the spirit soul, is actually free from suffering. And as soon as we go from this passive state of being free from suffering, we enter bhakti, we can take part of the ecstatic emotions and Ladini Shakti is Radhika. So this little sentence is actually so deep. It means that because Krishna is so ecstatic, even because we are part and parcels of Krishna, so this functionality, this potential is also in the jiva. As soon as he takes the umbrella of bhakti, it can we can also feel this ecstatic. So I, I think this is very beautifully put that actually the jiva has all potencies to, to, to experience this ecstasy. Wow, very good. And we try to do, because we jiva and we forget ourselves, we try to find ecstasy in material world and we suffer. Because it is not a real place to find it. And we suffer for that, but we are our search is ecstasy. And one prayer when the feeling combined with rasa is ananda. One place I read, read Baba says, when the feeling combined with rasa, it gives ananda. So feeling is Mahabhava, highest feeling of Radhika, combined with Raso Vaisa Krishna, then Manjaris get the Anandas. They are always in next ecstasy. What you say, <laughs> that is searching for Jiva. But Guru, I had this beautiful realization now that Without you or without the words of Baba, if we listen to this verse, like if we would now just listen to the verse of Raghunath Goswami in Swarupavish, if you would just listen to this verse, we would stand there and we would say, yeah, it's nice. But like you explained and Baba explained, only by the Kingaris, the Acharyas who are all Kingaris, only by their mercy, these... This Vani is entering into our hearts. We don't know all these secrets. We don't know why the parrots 
say this. We don't know why the Manjaris are dressing Radhika exactly like that. So this is actually the creeper of the Mahajans like you and Baba and, and all the Acharyas who came before. We thought, now we know that actually the Manjaris are dressing Radhika according to her feelings. When she's the red dress, the blue dress, the ornaments, everything has only one purpose, to please the Lord. So without your mercy, Gurudev, and Baba's mercy and the Mahachan's mercy, we would think, oh yeah, it's a really nice verse. But you can see we, it goes so deep. And this is like what I realized. This is the mercy of being in the association of Rasik Mahajans like you and Baba and all these, which we know 100% good. This is what I feel. I'm learning with all of your association. Don't say this with <laughs> No, I am very un unqualified person. Only you all inspiring to I share I what Baba inspired me. I share you. I have no idea. But so many times I listen and listen, it's ravishing to me. I don't know why. I because you are full of rasa, that's why. <laughs> I his mercy, it happens. <laughs> I have nothing, no configuration. No configuration. Wonderful. And I, I feel today very amazed that Tulasi Manjari or the Manjari service is even delegating between the flow of Rasa or Mahabhav. All the gopis are disturbed when they hear the flute of Krishna, but the Manjaris, they stay in their bhav of seva. They, they will serve Srimati Radhika and Mohan in such an expert way that the love will increase. This is what we need. This is what it's called stai bhav. Stai means stai means fixed. So this is what we 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 are praying for this by your lotus feet and Baba's lotus feet and the assembled Vaishnavas. This is what we need. This is this stai bhav, not ping pong with the mind, but really to take our head and go down to the lotus feet of the acharyas. And then this stai bhav, this undisturbedness, it can come. I'm sure. Beautiful point, you say, Suniti. Yes. Gopis become mad, they cannot decorate. And in this condition, Manjaris are decorating to Radhika. And right away, you see, <laughs> more right away. <coughs> and not talking to her. <laughs> so nice, so beautiful. And Gurudev, they, the Kingaris, they only know this, how to dress and how to put the dress and the ornaments because they have Bhavala Sarati, because they are so close to Swamini, the Sakis, the Sakis, we would never hear these details from, from a Saki Granta or from Saki Bhav Granta. We only can hear these details from, from Manjari Bhav Granta. So that the Kingaris are actually in a much, much higher position than the Sakis that we all get this information, you know, this beautiful, beautiful information. This is, we are very, very fortunate. Well, thank you. Bah. Very good, very good rallies. Very good point you say, Suniti. I'm proud of you. I By mercy of, to of that, you all, when I listen to you and Tarun Baba, I and, realize, uh, Ananda does Baba's words. Yeah, because of your realization, I realized new thing that how they are fixed in their seva. Wow, thank you. Bhajan makes a new life for the devotee. Wow. Beautiful. Means we become alive, Gurudev. <laughs> That is the point. Where nothing changes in the heart and the mind, 
then how will I understand if my bhajan is advancing? Wow, we explain this. You see, this is very important. When I do remember all these beautiful leelas that I have heard now, when I listen to the Mahajans and I listen to Tulasi Manjari, to Rupa Manjari in the service, then the heart and the mind becomes transformed. They change. They get if colored. We, and if my mind is blocked, how I will understand this? Is my mind... Heart is not soft, softness, well, I will not understand the inner softness of in between of that. So bhajan is for this we doing, to make my heart soft and mind clean with garbage, to feel it and realize it. Radha, Radha, Gurudev. Yeah. I just, I just remember the words of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Charitamrita. Also very rasik man, very rasik and sweet. Wow, I'm very happy when you appear to share something. Really, I'm telling you. No. Yes. Uh, Chaitanya yeah. Mahaprabhu said, Gurudev, in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Tamrita, what is the use of all our work and activity if we don't change our heart and if our heart doesn't melt? What is the use of everything what we are doing? <laughs> Just remember this. Yes, Rather. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You see, very rasik. <laughs> I'm so lucky that if I want to go for Adi Desh Dome, <laughs> those are close, they will close me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fortunate. Go on. Lassi oh. to Lassi. Dresses and ornaments, Swamini. For her Abhisa, with a thin dress, with floral earrings, necklaces, and other ornaments. How expertly she is doing this. Wow. She understand. She is doing this with the feelings of up coming meeting. Wow. And seeing this expertise of Tulasi, Swamini thinks, surely there must be some purpose to this ornamentation. Wow. <laughs> what a beautiful this beloved Kusumanjali Bhaiya is a boon for Gauriya Vaishnava. There is no other book like this. Is a gifted, is a, is a written in in uh, some Leela Atman time, what he see he is writing. Gurudev, in one darshan I was with Baba, he was saying exactly this. I think Sunidhi, you were also there, and I think a lot of devotees came with us. And then uh, Baba was saying, sometimes I sit down and I write and I write and I write. And when I read it afterwards, I am very amazed about what I have written. So that is a clear evidence that 
It is not coming from, he's, he's writing straight from the heart. It's like coming out, coming out. And then he's reading it and he's saying, my God, Radhika has taken up the pencil and he wrote, she wrote it for me. He said, there is one video about this. It's very, very beautiful. So he is in Siddhadeha, this Manjari Saru, and he is looking at his writing there. Yeah. So Swamini is thinking when Tulasi is ornamenting her so expertly, surely there must be some purpose to this ornamentation. This causes Swamini's natural beauty even to increase and therefore Tulasi calls her Subhagi or Sundari in this verse. Wow. When the vision vanishes, mm. she prays for devotional service. Yeah. Krishna mm. Abhisada Kala Shunibo Yukan Bala. Vichakshana Shukaravadane Tabe Atirishtaya Hoye Shukshma Pata Sati Loye Poraibo Tomare Yatane. When I clearly hear from the mouth of the parrot named Vishakshana that it is time for you to meet Krishna, then I very blissfully take a very thin silken sari and carefully dress you with it. Now I will make it. floral listen, earrings. Yes. Listen, the evening arti time. My Gopinath is, is anxious to go to arti. Yes, Guru, last, last sentence, Gurudev. Last this is the last sentence. <laughs> I will make floral earrings. <laughs> I have one I have one little thing. I have one little thing. One very secret thing which we don't talk about much, but one little thing I can put in. It has also a reason why he is putting on a very thin sari. It's also very important. Say. Because they go because they go to Radhakund and Krishna mm -hmm. wants to see the elegant form of Radhika. If she puts on a very thick sari. It is in cold time, but here she puts on a very thin sari, so Krishna gets even more excited. And Tulsi Mancha, she knows that when she puts on a thin sari, Krishna will get even crazier and more and more attracted to her. And then when she goes bathing, everything becomes clear. <laughs> <laughs> Jai Ho! <laughs> Good if a 101 eager Chakora birds like to listen. <laughs> <laughs> so I will make floral earrings and hang them on your earlobes and I will hang a flower garland around your neck oh Davy when can I thus adorn you with floral ornaments there uh, are <laughs> Seva Mandiri think that when it will destroy, then my service is useful. <laughs> <laughs> they are not happy when it's at it is, when the foundry, flower garden is broken, or uh, earrings is missing or something, then my service is really done. Again, she has a get, great chance to do again new. So they make for flowers always, right? Thank you. Suniti, you are great. Very nice. Very good subject. Your happiness, your all happiness is my happiness, Gurudev. All happiness is my happiness. <laughs> All Vaishnavas are happy. Yes. <laughs>